Spanish Specials, Year 4, 3rd Grade. Wow, already the end of Year Cuatro. We've come so far in such a short time. To take a look at what we've learned, I wrote you this cheesy little rhyme. You strolled into La Classe and were so very surprised, for there was not a single silla to be found before your eyes. But you quickly learned to bounce like sweet bebe canguros, and I can always count on y'all to be safe y seguros. Well, most of you. To start things out, we had to review all the things we'd learned in years three and two. Then we jumped in to study a proper introduction, because knowing the phrase me llamo is a super useful function. We had to learn el and ella, mm-hmm, he and she. We even used se llama at the Freaky Doll Factory. Finished up that short little unit, then to the school we had to go. Alone we couldn't do it, so we brought in our boy Leo. Well, Leo's little amigos wanted in on the fun too, so we created mini escuelas with Spanish labels and detalles that were really so fabu. Then we took it back to time's very first decade. Some cavemen woke up and smack, they were in a brand new day and age. We had to teach them all the new technology we use, things like el remoto y la tele, Oh man, were they confused. The caveman had us all super tired out, so we traveled across El Oceano to see what Spain was all about. Learned about la cultura y el arte and the famous Pablo Picasso. We even tried our hand at a little bit of cubismo. Then life took a bad turn and we were stranded in Peru. Our only hope for survival was Spanish to the rescue. Necesito ayuda was a really useful phrase, especially when we were at the bottom of Las Montañas Andes. We fell down the mountain and needed medical attention, so we answered all the questions the Spanish-speaking doctor asked us with affection. After Chile y Peru, our hardships were not done because we crashed into a coral reef near an island under the sun. Spanish-speaking Gertrude and the mute mystery man randomly washed up on our island. We translated their information in order to get a rescue team to land. Fortunately, we did make it back safely after some victories and a few fails. Then we had a nice relaxing unit studying magical fairy tales. We learned transition words like proximo y después. We danced to the crazy cancion como locos all over the place. But our traveling was not done. We just had to study abroad. So we flew down to Costa Rica and met una familia. They were kind of odd. Disculpa, señor. We learned to interrupt rather politely. Que le vaya bien, we also said, while smiling super brightly. Around San Juan, we searched for una mochila that we eventually found with the police. Then we had to fly Hamilton back home to Iowa so his pobrecita mamá could finally feel some peace. But no, we weren't done. We were still up and hopping. So we started a unit to learn how to say, I'm going shopping. My favorite phrase. In the beautiful malls of Spain, busco, we learned how to say, y cuanto cuesta was definitely our favorite phrase of the day. Then we had a Skittle market, and to my extreme satisfaction, you saw how many Skittles you could get by communicating an entire Spanish transaction. That unit was so fun, going shopping, what a deal. But the year wasn't over till we learned how to say, I feel. We learned emotion words in the most dramatic of fashions. We even flew to Argentina to meet Isadora and to get in on the theatrical action. Como, como, como te sientes? Enfermo, triste, 
devastado. I'm feeling all the feelings as I think about y'all leaving for El Verano. So many memories we've created in this fab year four, and I just know that year five is holding even more. So practice your Spanish this summer, and come fall, we'll begin again. Please know that I will miss you and que le vaya bien. Have a great summer, amigos.